See my lords, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, and young people of Totnes. Can I welcome you all to the town of Totnes to help us to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the start of the Victorian Exploration Expedition, the expedition commonly known as the Wirth, Wirth and Wills Expedition. You've always got a habit of abbreviating things. Wills was not appointed as second in command of the expedition, but he stepped in to fill that gap. He became a key member of that party, and it's his scientific records of the expedition which exist today and form the foundation of the scientific studies which have been carried out throughout this year within Australia. It's the story of Will's participation in the expedition that we are commemorating today. His early years in Totnes and the achievements rather than the tragedy of the expedition that we want to celebrate and that a young Totnesian at that time was part of. It's also the untold story of the Aboriginal peoples and their involvement. We want to explore ourselves and follow the major studies that are being undertaken in Australia throughout this coming year. Their involvement during the expedition and during the final phase, and then supporting the only person who managed to survive the expedition he survived due to the support he had from the Aboriginal peoples. They were the first Europeans to cross Australia, to go from the south to the north. They brought back the information of the land, the country, the ability to open it up for the economy. And we're very pleased today to have the High Commissioner of Australia, the Honourable John Doe, and the Agent General of Victoria, Ms Sally Catt, with us today. Now I'm looking around, I've lost them by now. Ah. Yeah. Lords, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm certainly willing to say a few words, but whether you're willing to listen to them is another question. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm not very. Feel at liberty or, uh, now or later in the afternoon when I have put in there and speaking again uh, to, uh, to speak away. I'm delighted to be here today. I really am very delighted to be in Devon with my friend and colleague Sally Cap, uh, the Agent General from uh, Victoria. Uh, I'm very pleased to be amongst you for this important uh, celebration. Uh, the people of Devon, the people of uh, Totnes, uh, uh, share many things uh, with Australians, uh, uh, and it's a wonderful thing that one thing we share uh, is William John Woodall's. And uh, it's right, it's proper for us today, I think, uh, to be commemorating uh, an extraordinary expedition, an expedition of remarkable success and remarkable tragedy. And uh, so let us uh, have that in our minds as we progress through today's program. Thank you again very much for the, the warmth and the welcome that you've shown, Sally and I, and uh, uh, I look forward to the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Uh, how familiar are you with the... Uh with the actual expedition itself. Quite a, quite a bit, yes. Right. Well, this was 
he was not he was not one of the seven that went with Burke from uh, up towards Cooper's Creek, mm -hmm. but he was left at Meninji. He was a saddler for the expedition, and he um, was uh, asked by Burke to catch up with him because he realised he needed a saddler. Um, and Burke said he would leave some supplies, a place called Lake Rural, for a person and a trooper called Lyons who had messages for Burke mm -hmm. to pick up on their way there. But unfortunately Burke carried on ahead. They never found the supplies, so they were out in the bush for seven weeks on seven day supply. So they had, uh, and it hadn't been for the Aboriginal tracker they had with them, who managed to get them back to base camp, they wouldn't have survived. So um, it was quite an interesting so this was on the way back? This was, this was, no, it was on the way out, um, because, you, you know, Bert went ahead with seven people, and he went as far as Cooper's Creek. He left three behind, and then went on with another four and then perished on the way back. He got back. He was, no, he, he was a stage before that. When Burke left Menindee, which was on the Murray-Darling River, he went off with seven people, but he realized he needed a saddler. So he sent dispatches back to say, I need a saddler, and that was my ancestor. So he went. He was my maternal grandfather's uncle. His name? His name was uh, Alexander McPherson. So um, he did survive, obviously, but he was 15 stone when he set out. He was 8 stone when he got back. Because basically they just had to live off the land. If it hadn't been for the tracker, the, the Aboriginal, who obviously was familiar with living on the land, they just wouldn't have survived. visitors who are most welcome here today to help us celebrate and commemorate the start of the Victorian Exploration Expedition known as the Burke and Wills Expedition from Wills who in fact was a son of Totnes 150 years ago. In Melbourne two days ago about 1200 people gathered around a similar monument to that we have at the plains to unveil a plaque to commemorate the start of the build the Burke and Wills expedition. The weather was wet and freezing. At least it's very wet and warm here today. We're unveiling our own plaque to commemorate the event and W. J. Wills' role in the expedition. We are unveiling and hoisting a flag, the Australian flag, which has been sent from Melbourne by the Royal Society of Victoria to help us commemorate the event. And it will be flying for the duration of the expedition up until next June. I hope 
the weather doesn't put you off, and I hope the flag flies sometime when the wind gets up. And thank you for the air today. It's a flag party today. the plaque on the monument that was erected nearly 150 years ago by the people of Totnes in memory of Wills, who died at the end of the expedition. Today, the High Commissioner John Duth from Australia will be unveiling a plaque to commemorate the start of the expedition. Over the period of the year, as I said earlier on, we hope to be commemorating the whole of the expedition's period of travel with events in Totnes. Now I'd like to ask John if he wants to say a few words and hopefully he will pull it and it will come down without the flag coming down. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, Lord Lieutenant, the Lords, Ladies and Gentlemen, I bring you warm greetings from Australia, if not warm weather. <laughs> but I'm very pleased to be here with my friend and colleague Sally Cap, the Agent General from, from Victoria, uh, to mark a very important anniversary. It's an important anniversary for Totnes, but it's an important anniversary for Australia too. We have about an equal shareholding with the people of Totnes uh, in wills, and it's very important to us today that the people of Totnes are remembering wills. And one of the most glorious and tragic expeditions uh, in Australian exploring history. I congratulate the Royal Society of Victoria, I congratulate the Lord Mayor, councillors, all the people of Totnes on this very auspicious day. I'm very pleased to be here and thank you very much indeed for the warmth of your welcome.